for this situation to happen. Another way um, women experience their spirit being broken, a lot of times men are going through things within themselves with um, erectile dysfunction and all kind of stuff like that. So they shy away from sex because they're not educated to know that there are other alternatives, okay? There are other alternatives. It's other things that you can do to help yourself. But because they're not educated, they just shut down completely and just don't have sex. And the woman is like, okay, well, what does that leave me? Because I'm still young, I'm still vibrant, I'm still thriving. Why does my sex life have to completely end? Because you got something going on with you. They can more than likely be fixed. Okay? Another way um, a woman's spirit can be broken, you know, women like to feel like they are beautiful. Now, suppose you're a woman and you're doing everything the whole nine and, you know, you you keeping yourself together, but then you have a man that walks past you every day like he don't even see you or your efforts. That can easily break a woman's spirit because she's like, you know, well, what is the problem? That's what communication happens. You have to communicate and you have to talk, okay? But then you had this other motherfucker who you doing everything and this motherfucker just rolling over on you. This is the motherfucker that I want to teach you how to deal with because you see all of this on this table, all of these goodies. You know, cause some of y'all got husbands that just don't want to give up no dick. That's all right. Because I ain't going to ever tell you to leave your husband. I ain't going to ever tell you to leave your man. I'm not going to do that. That ain't what I'm about because I'm all about you know, fixing shit and bringing shit together and, and, and you know, I, I like to see people together and married, but happy, okay? If you're dealing with somebody and, you know, they just withholding the dick from you because they might be working turnarounds or, you know, they just ain't never in the mood or everything else always important, baby, help yourself. And, and you ain't never got to feel bad about helping yourself. This here is a clip pump. It goes on the clip. You, you take it and put it over the clip. I want to put it on there. On there, we're good. Then you, yeah, you, you pump that motherfucker and what it do is it pull your clip like your clip being fucked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do that. And then you turn it on and then it vibrates on the clip, okay? Then you got this one here, which is the G-Spot, G-Rock, that rocks your whole entire world, rocks the clip and the G-Spot all at the same time, Okay? You got these to see. You got to understand that you got alternatives. There are other things that you can do besides pack up and leave your marriage. Now, I'm not saying stay in something where you unhappy forever. But what I'm saying is you try to do what you got to do to work through whatever situation you got going. If you like to get your pussy ate and he ain't eating no pussy and he ain't interested in getting the pussy or nothing like that, huh? get you an incredible tongue. What? Yes, a vibrating, incredible tongue. Yeah, this, this is a new toy. This one just came out like within the last month or so. Get you one, baby. If if he ain't tending to the pussy the way he needs to, get you one. It's, it's ways to deal with sexual rejection. You ain't got to, because, baby, you ain't got to reject yourself. You ain't got to go without. You ain't got to miss a beat when it come down to a nut, because you can get that yourself. Okay? Here we go. Turbo. Turbo 8. Right here. 8-speed turbo bullet takes four AA batteries. This ain't your regular bullet, baby. This ain't the one that you pay $15 for. This is the granddaddy to the bullets, okay? Get you a turbo A, baby, and take care of yourself and handle your business for yourself. See, one thing you got to stop doing is waiting on another motherfucker to bring pleasure and happiness to your life. I, I, I wanted to get to this part of the video. Stop waiting on somebody else to bring pleasure and happiness to your life. Get your ass up and go and fix yourself up and make you an appointment and do you a spa day. And if you ain't want nails ever in your life, go get them done. If you ain't never got your hair done and that ain't what you do, go, baby, go schedule you an appointment. Go see my beautician. Go see Coco. And she gonna get you all the way together. And, bitch, if you want to get your face beat before you leave out the chair, she will even do that, too. You want to get eyebrows and lashes done, she will do that, too. Baby, come home looking like a whole nother woman. Because, see, when you start having a certain type of confidence, like, y'all about to make me... <laughs> when you start having a certain type of confidence about yourself, it don't matter what the next motherfucker think. And it don't matter about how they reject you and all of this kind of stuff. Because when you start feeling a certain type of way about yourself, you only going to stand that bullshit for so long. 
Because you, when you learn better and know better, you're going to start doing better for yourself. And you're going to realize how short life is. And again, I'm not telling you to leave your husband. But what I am telling you is, bitch, get some sense. Okay? Get some sense. Because if the doctor ain't told him that something going on with his dick, then he need to be giving it up. It's, it's, it's very simple. Very simple. Okay? You ain't got to be around this bitch with your spirit broken, all down and depressed, and everybody at the party talking, yeah! And you at the party talking about, oh, I can't relate because this motherfucker I'm with don't give me no dick at all. I don't, I, no. Pick, bitch, pick yourself up. Pick yourself up. You ain't got to be around this bitch broke down, depressed, toe up, looking bad, feeling bad. No. Happiness is a choice. You wake up every day and choose to be happy. You can go to bed every day and choose to please yourself. It's a choice. Everything in life is a choice. And when you start making the right choices in life for you, then you're going to be around that bitch happy and he's going to be trying to figure out why. Because guess what? My happiness ain't determined by you no more. I determine my happiness. I determine my pleasure. And if you don't want to get this pussy, I'm going to get this pussy for me. I'm going to get it. You ain't got to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it by my damn self. That's the attitude you got to have. It's all about how you choose to look at things, how you choose to perceive things. Okay? So, I hope this video helps somebody. And you have been feeling rejected sexually. You ain't got to reject yourself. You can fuck your own self. Baby, you can give yourself the best nut. Oh, baby, it ain't nothing like when you learn your body. It ain't nothing like when you learn what you can do for you. You ain't got to ever worry about a motherfucker trying to please you because you can please you. You can do what they do and better. They got all of this shit out here. If you like your pussy suck, they got shit that'll suck your pussy. If you like your pussy flick, they got shit that'll flick your pussy. If you like your pussy pounding, bitch, they got thrusters that will pound your walls. Like none other. Like, they got shit out there. So, it's no excuse. So, stop singing them sad-ass songs and bitch, help yourself. Okay? That's the word for the day. Bitch, help yourself. Alright? And then for those of y'all that feel like...